My name is Samantha Grimes and you're watching Samantha Grimes TV, a place dedicated to the total wellness of the total wellness. All right, family, do me a huge favor. If you like natural hair and beauty content, if you like healthy lifestyle content, if you like everything dedicated to you being the best you you can possibly be, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you've already done that, then hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. All right, family, family, if you are a newbie, <laughs> my name is Samantha Grimes. I am a professional life strategist, creator, and overall mompreneur. As well as I'm a published author, I wrote a book called Feel So Good to Be Loved, 21 Days of Discovering the Authentic Love of God. Please go to Amazon.com or Kindle to pick that up. And if you would like to book a session with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, a wide variety of sessions, including life coaching sessions, faith-based counseling sessions, a little bit of natural hair coaching, and a session that I want to uh, kind of highlight in this video, a newer service, uh, ministry building sessions. Yes, we're going to help you launch that vision, help you launch that dream, help you launch that ministry. Amen. If you're interested in any of that or anything else you see on our website, then go visit our website at www.sgls.info. Once again, that's www.sgls.info. And we look forward to working with you. All right, family. So I believe that this video is going to impact you so greatly. Listen, I believe everybody's had a season in their life, or maybe you will have a season in your life where there's something you're supposed to launch, do, build, whatever, and some petty things have come up to try to get you to stop, how to get you to hesitate, try to get you to walk in fear, and overall to get you to turn around and disobey. But I want to give you maybe three majors that I really believe rise up in our spirit, speak to those things, and really encourage and empower you to take those next steps and to launch that vision, that ministry, that business, that you fill in the blank. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Number one, the fear of man. I know everyone. At some point, if you haven't already, you've had to engage or come face to face with the fear of man, okay? And listen, what I have noticed with that specifically is that it's not even the fear of what someone has said. It's most of the time the fear of what somebody will say. And what do I mean by will say? I mean, sometimes I think everybody's been guilty of it, of thinking for other people. You assume they're going to make fun of it. You assume they're not going to be supportive. You assume this. You assume that. You hear conversations and dialogues and things happening in your mind that have not actually happened in real life. And it is keeping you and it is hindering you. Sometimes the enemy will demonically project certain thoughts and images before your mind to make it seem oh so scary so that you won't step out and that you won't do it. But let me tell you something, okay? The Bible says the fear of man is a snare, meaning it will trap your life. It'll trap your voice. It'll trap any and everything. But he who trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Listen, that's a biblical promise, okay? Meaning it's not that... You're making sure that nobody ever says anything. You're not making sure that nobody ever feels away. Sometimes the enemy will actually send somebody to open their mouth and say something that they know nothing about, okay? But what you're trusting in is the keeping power of Christ. What you're trusting in is the safety that you have now entered in because you are trusting God and because you are being obedient. So let me tell you something. The fear of man, listen, pales in comparison to the beauty of, of the fear and the reverence of God. God's not going to launch you, have you launch out something. He's not going to have you do something. He's not going to have you step out in this powerful way. And he not take care of you. And listen, sometimes what will surprise you is the people that you thought that weren't going to support you are the very people coming to you for your service, for your gift, for your ministry. You never know. And you never know unless you find out. So number one, let's rebuke and ignore and choose to be overcomers 
of the fear of man. Number two, too much knowledge. And the reason I say too much knowledge is because sometimes we can tend to think we need to know everything about everything in order to do anything. And that's not true. Listen, anybody that is worth their salt in any arena of life are constantly learning. Beyonce, Rihanna, uh, give me, give me a, a big mainstream singer and I promise you they have a vocal coach. They do not feel like they have made it and so now they can be performers. No, they understand that they have to constantly learn their craft. But just because you're still learning your craft doesn't mean the world doesn't need to hear your craft. You see what I'm saying? So understand, yes, there may be things you need to learn, but why can't you learn it along the way? Listen, I was already in business three or four years before I went to business school for a little bit. Many people say, well, shouldn't you do that first? And da, da, da. Not necessarily. The Lord called me to launch. And while I was out doing, I came into the knowledge of what I didn't know. And the Lord showed me, okay, now we're about to learn. But while you're learning, you're also executing. OK, so let's just kill the noise of all that. I need to know this. And I need to know that I got to have all the right connections. Like I know all the right people, man. Most of these billionaires out here do not. OK, do not or did not know everything, but they constantly remain students. And if you're remaining in the heart posture of a student, there is nothing that you can't learn and there is nothing that you can't achieve. So kill all of the noise of, man, I, I feel like I don't, I, there's more I can learn. Probably. But don't let that be excuse. Don't let that be an excuse to cause you to go into disobedience. Don't let that be an excuse to cause you to fumble the gift and the opportunity that God has presented. Sometimes God says do it now because he knows that there may not be another time in your life just like this one. And this is the prime time to sow that seed. The soil is ready. The harvest uh, is ready and it's waiting for you. So number two, don't worry about what you don't know. Number three, not enough resources. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> Listen, learn to work with what you got. I promise you, you have more working for you than you ever realize. My husband makes a really, really great point. He always talks about our iPhones. And oftentimes we want to hurry up and get the next model of phone because it looks good and fancy in the commercial. But there's so many things that your phone that you have right now can do that you never even sought to find out because you kind of do the same things with your phone. You only talk, you only text, you scroll on social media and that's it. And your phone can do things you had no idea. So you think you need this new phone, but in actuality, your current phone hmm, can do 10 times what you've given it, it the opportunity to do. So I really want you to consider, hey, what do I have right in front of me? Sometimes God wants us to really Trust him by using what we have. And if we're faithful with our little, he can make us ruler over much. So yeah, you don't have a fleet of cars, but you got a car. Yeah, you don't have a MacBook, but you got a computer. Yeah, you don't have uh, uh, all of the, the fancy office and the office space, but you got a guest room in your house. Stop making excuses, all right? You have everything that you need if God is calling you to launch right now. And I promise you more will come when you begin to work what you got. All in all, if God be for you, who can be against you? Family, if you're feeling that leading, if you're feeling that push in your spirit, it is time. It's time to step out. And listen, if you do step out, we want to help. Listen, if it's business, we do career coaching. If it's a ministry, we do ministry building. Listen, if you just need to talk, girl, we are here. So without further ado, we're going to head out. But please visit my website at www.sgls.info and maybe book a free consultation with me today. All right, family. Talk soon.